Yep, you seen the title in the thumbnail, and I don't even know how to pronounce this right, but I'm going to try to. We're going to do some gnocchi chicken pot pie. If I say it wrong, oh well, sue me. Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do a quick roll call back here. I know I'm going to mess up the pronunciation of this particular uh, pasta. It's gnocchi. I think that's what it, how it is. I would have called it gnocchi, but I think it's gnocchi. If I pronounce it wrong, forgive me. Remember, I got an Alabama education. All right, so right here we have some chopped chicken right here. You can use chopped chicken or shredded chicken, already pre-cooked. Chicken broth, frozen peas, some poultry seasoning, salt and pepper, some half and half, onions, garlic, flour, some fresh diced carrots, celery, mushrooms, thyme, and we got some butter here. Also, we have a chicken bouillon right here. So, hey, I know this seems like a lot, guys. If it's too many ingredients for you, shut up, go fry some chicken. But we finna do some noche chicken pot pie. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's get this recipe underway. We're gonna start off by melting four tablespoons of butter. And as our butter melts, we're gonna add our onions, our celery, carrots, and our mushrooms. And guys, we're gonna cook this for about three to four minutes. Let those mushrooms release their liquid and also get those veggies slightly softened. All right, so once you've noticed that those mushrooms have released that liquid, what you wanna do is you wanna take your salt and pepper and you wanna season your veggies and we're gonna let that cook for another six to seven minutes until those veggies are completely softened. We wanna turn that heat down just a little. Now after about six and a half minutes, we're gonna go in with our garlic, our thyme, and our poultry season. Poultry season. And we're gonna cook this for another minute. All right, so after about that minute, we're gonna sprinkle our flour over our veggies. And we're gonna cook this for another minute or so. And once you start stirring this flour into your veggies, it's gonna start sticking to the bottom of your pan and your veggies are gonna look like they're sticking together, but don't worry, we got a solution for that. After about that minute, now we're gonna come behind that with our chicken broth slowly, stirring it in, making sure we break up those lumps of that flour. See how that works out, guys? Now we're gonna come behind that with our half and half. And guys, you can also use milk if you want to. You don't necessarily have to use half and half, but I like the half and half because it gives you a little bit more of that thicker texture. We're gonna turn that heat up to a medium high. We want that mixture to start to bubble. Now we're gonna crumble up about half of a bouillon cube. Add that as it comes to a boil or it starts to bubble, should I say. All right, so you can see that it's starting to bubble around the edges. So we're gonna do a quick stir and we're gonna add our gnocchi. I hope I said that right again, gnocchi. And we're gonna get that stirred in to combine it. We're gonna turn our heat down to a medium simmer. And we're gonna stir this frequently until those gnocchi are tender, about five to six minutes. All right, so we're about six to seven minutes in. Now final steps, we're gonna add our peas. We'll get those babies stirred in, along with our chicken. Guys, take a look at that right there. <laughs> See how all that came together? That one pot, just like that. And that's it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get it played up and it's our final presentation. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it, guys. Miyoki chicken pot pie. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control. All right, we're back in here. Quality control, man. Take a look at this right here. Man, we got our Miyoki chicken pot pie. Miyoki. <laughs> and listen, I don't care how you pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it delicious. Watch this. Call what you want to call it. I'm calling this baby absolutely delicious. Ooh. Oh man. And what I like about making it with this gnocchi is it saves you from having to deal with those dumplings. You know, a lot of people make it with dumplings. Hey, you ain't got to worry about it. Eat it with the gnocchi. It's good. Mm. Oh man. Some of them chicken Popeye that used to be in the frozen section. Man, my mom used to grab them things out there, frozen food section. Back then, they were like four for a dollar. They were four of us. We all eat on them things, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, definitely one you need to add to your books. So, to the end, y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything. And remember, not a chef. I just stay making foods that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace.